uh, TP like a good 10, 15 meters away and be absolutely fine. It'll also make rotates a lot quicker. But right. we're in game. So now we can stop assuming what these teams are going to do. <laughs> we can see what they're going to do. And I see Harbor hovered on both of these teams. We're looking at a Harbor Viper, and it looks like uh, the defenders have just loaded in their their comp. They're going to be running with a Jet, Harbor, Viper, Sky, Sova play. And I think you're right on the money with having no uh, Sentinel there. A lot of players don't need a Sentinel for this map. And it looks like we're going to be having a double controller, double uh, initiator type beat going on here. And on the other side here, we have a Sova, Viper, Harbor, Jet, and KO pick that just came in. And I mean, the, the comps are almost identical, minus the initiator with KO and Sky. So I think we're looking at what could be a very, very even game as far as the playing field goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure who I like better, whether it's the Sky or the KO. I mean, both of those picks are absolutely phenomenal, right? I think it's going to come down to which one of those players can handle their agent better. Right. Because KO and Sky are both very useful picks. Of course, Sky has those heals, so there's the advantage in that point. But also, KO has the opportunity to just completely strip the entire enemy team of their util for a good 30 seconds every few rounds. Also, let's not forget about that knife. Right. Well, and I'm thinking that, especially for attacker side right now, I think that our uh, KO might be having a little bit more of the advantage. It really just depends on how he uses his flash and his knife here. Because he can take a look. He can get a lot of information off of those. And it looks like that's going to be in mid which they did not quite get anything off the knife, but right off the bat, they have three people pushing up mid and with a harbor wall coming in, allowing them to walk up into sight. And it looks like the the defenders are gonna be backing up and getting ready to gear up for a defense. Ooh, Sky getting pinged, but managing to get away. Spike planted. Jet getting Plank taken goes down. down. Gareth, close range from the Zrona. Almost gets one more, but Anomaly mid-range. Classic, able to find the head. Swimming around the pyramids. Ain is holding right between the crevice. Spike is ticking. Simpsons College got to move pretty quickly. Flash comes in. The dart does not catch remains. much. The shots are good as KO takes them down. And then it looks like we're going to be having some easy frags come in from uh, Clark University with an excellent sight take with a 3-2 split. Their KO there definitely opened up a lot of opportunity for them when he got into sight, taking on three people and still walking away with his life and not getting traded afterwards. He played that very, very well. His positioning was almost perfect. Yeah, the KO is... It's going to be a big, up. big part it's to it. this attack, but I also think once the side switch, I feel like Sky is going to have a very big factor as well. It's really just going to come down to the attack and which one's a little bit better, or honestly, the defense maybe, because maps and off the maps attacker sided. These compositions are very attacker sided. Clark does have the advantage in that sense, where they get to get on the attacking side first. <laughs> Which team can defend better? That's going to be the real question. The shorty, close range from Siders, gets completely negated by the Vandal. And there we got Ain. K.O. Cop hopping off. Zerona keeps him coming. Bonsai falls down. The harbor is no more. It's up to your initiator and your controller. Sova goes down. And it's scribe with just your classic. Kang will end it off. Winning out the Viper battle. Make it 2-0 now for Clark University. Yeah, you know, it's it's unfortunate with that dart in mid in the beginning. You know, I, I'm I'm a pretty big advocator for using Sova Dart is not just uh, you know, an intel thing. I, I feel like I'd rather send a sky flash out to get the you know, get a ping and get that, you know, notification, but I mean, if you shoot that dart too early, I mean, all they have to do is sit back and wait. You have no information, and that's exactly what happened. And they have three people come and walk up mid right again, and then go and take the A site. 
first round coming out. And it's a new round, or it's a new waypoint through A, and it helps the defenders out quite a bit. Right. That shot, Siders will make do with it. Lands the headshot, and the Sova is done. Makes this round a little bit harder. Well, this is very, very scary here with mid play, and it looks like they're going to be backing off, which is very good for Sky because he kind of had his back there. The pick comes in with Jet taking one, almost taking two, but the trade does come in, and that is going to open up B site for them. KO's like, all right, guys, we're in. Get over here. As he's going to go for what looks to be another aggressive pick. Oh, you might you might not want to take this fight. It's I mean it's it's rough because you're down right now and you really want to get that pick. But when they're once you miss that initial shot, they're just gonna sit there and wait for you to try to catch you on the repeat. Now they're gonna have to go for what seems to be a different play here. Good to see the new B site with a bunch of reworks done. Except the college got to push onto it. Aim just can't land the shot on the jet. Bullets tracing around. All three, all three will, three will get though. suppressed. That helps out a lot. And there, and he up. finally gets the jet. <laughs> After Anomaly. Many attempts. Ooh. Anomaly. Fantastic double kill. And Simpson, just in the nick of time, they take the round. Now you gotta be careful insurring. when you play aggressive. I mean, they, they could have taken another round right there. Thankfully, Simpson was able to shut them down, and now they're going to be able to come right back into the game strong as uh, Simpson does not have... Oh, they don't have much of a buy, though. That's going to be one of the bigger issues coming into this next round. They did lose almost every single player, and they're going to be working around one Vandal. I mean, they got the... Bonus round, so they have a round on the board, Don't but they brown. lost four players. They almost lost that round. So their economy is looking pretty weak. Clark University should, or should have an easier time getting onto the site, considering Simpson College has a bit of weaker firepower. But that does not mean it's going to be easy. Soup lands the first frag. Doesn't seem to stress too much about it. Get onto the B site, get the spike down. The harbor wall is up and Fight denying plane. sight. The harbor wall is so good. I mean, this double controller composition with the Viper and Harbor, I got a feeling that's going to be a problem this season. Yeah, oh, it's going to be up. very, very prominent. Ooh. One enemy remaining. Jet and Harbor taking down two players from Simpson College, now leading it down to Siders to be the last running home for getting a couple picks. This round is pretty much over and Clark University is going to be taking it. I wonder if he's going to... Oh, so he's going to catch up on the jet here. He takes him down, and it looks like he's got himself a gun. He anticipates that there's going to be another person, which he's absolutely right. And now he's going to be getting pinched. This is going to be really rough for him. He takes another, and it's... Oh, he cannot get another, but he did go away from that with two picks, which is not bad for having a stinger on your own. Not bad at all. Makes Clark University stress a little bit. They still got the money. Everything's all right, but they need to play this round a little bit careful. They can't let those guns just fly off willy-nilly like they did that last round. Right. Simpsons, Collins, Simpsons, Simpsons College has a full buy up. It's going to be five rifles. I think Siders has a rifle. Yeah. Siders. No, yeah. I think Siders no, is going no, nice. No, 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 no. Siders just use a knife. Never mind. Siders using the knives. One of them has light shields. But other than that, everything is filled up. Clark on the site. Really I think curious. Simpsons is going to play Simpsons for retake. Doing? I think they're playing for retake. I mean, that's a really, really strong mid hold for. I mean, I, maybe they were, they thought that they had a read here, but that was almost all five of their players mid. And now they got to try for the retake. Clark University is really spreading out. I don't think this is going to work like you think it is, Simpson. Five versus three. Right the wall's there. coming up. They're just completely shut down, and they are suffocated off. One Dropping like remaining. flies is the case for this game. It's a nice, nice click from Siders. But there's not enough time, and there's not enough resources left for Simpson to be able to take this oh. round.
Siders really want that gonna last die. Pick. Siders just gonna die. I think they have enough money for the next round, but I mean, we'll see. A good thing going. Keep it up. <sighs> so, uh, I mean, I'm not trying to rag on their play there, but with double controllers, if you have almost your entire team centraled around one point, or you're sitting in a certain area, it's going to be a gigantic problem because, it, like, with a harbor in play, with a viper in play, all they have to do is throw one wall up, and you're basically completely and entirely shut out of the site. Clark University yeah. walked through like it was their home. It, it was easy for them. They didn't have to do anything. They hadn't put any effort in these to smoke up in there. In. Yeah, I could absolutely see them going for that aggressive of a retake play if they only had one controller, but no, they had two, and there was just no shot. You have to try to deny on the site if you have two controllers. You can't play that sideways aggressive when you only have, like, control plays. Right. got to stay on the site. You got to use those smokes to your advantage. Right now, Clark University has a very easy round in front of them. Simpson College has no money, and they are going to just fall like flies. Flawless round for Clark University. Simpson College kind of wasting a couple of rounds there with that last retake play. Yeah, it's really not looking good, and I think Clark University is starting to smell the blood in the water as they're... Oh, and here's the timeout. Yeah, Simpson's going to have to talk about something here, think about what they're going to do next, because if they don't get a couple rounds on the board here, it's going to be really, really rough half for them in the way that they're playing. It almost seems unconfident, if uh, I, if I'm assuming correctly. I And I think Clark University is really catching on to that with that last play. They walked straight into B. They, they, they went straight in. Jet dash, and everyone was in. They didn't really have anybody kind of holding that initial push. They, they just knew they could take it. And I think that that's probably where they're going to be going forward from here on out. Is they We're probably going to be seeing a lot of fast plays from Clark University because they are extremely confident and their aim is on right now. That they are. And to play devil's advocate, Simpsons College, of course, they are losing quite a bit. It's 5-1. to one, But it is on Breeze with a very attacker-heavy composition. So... Kind of makes sense that the attacker gets off to a really fast start. With that being said, you are absolutely on the money. Simpson College playing like they're just demotivated. Like with that retake play, it seemed like they're just trying to throw something at the wall and see what stick. Instead of using logic and trying to formulate a plan. They're just kind of throwing out random strats and seeing if it'll work. And so far, nothing has. Wow. That jet peak is crucial. The Siders has been practicing that. I think that's his third pick on that angle, running in, dashing out. That sky flash coming in and kind of uh, helping him out with that. They definitely have rehearsed that, you can tell. Clark looks University like... has to play this round down a player. Yeah. It looks like we're going to have a bit of a rotate play. See, you will try their hand at the B site. That is pretty open. Strive gonna run around. Down, not B. able to get one drops down to their death, but the B site is under control of Clark. Simpson College up one player. Oh, that jet Spike lurk could planted. be gigantic if the timing is right, but unfortunately, the jet on Simpson is late and it's going to cancel out this flank. But Zrona is making it work. The dart comes in. Surprisingly, does not catch Viper here. Suspense coming in. KO is lit, Ow. but manages to just sidestep out that smoke and just completely annihilate Blight, leaving this round looking like it's going to be in favor of Clark University. The shot is in, but Siders is running out of time. He's going to have to make a play here, and he's going to have to make it quick. I don't think he has time left. The shots are in, but the time is not. Siders is going to try to run away. I don't think they've got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, Siders got it. Got the gun. Got away. A nice salvage of the Vandal from Siders, but Clark University just a little bit too quick on it. Simpson had that round at their fingertips. They had the advantage. They had the positional advantage as well with Siders on the flank. If they were just about five seconds quicker, they could have won that round. I. I'll go ahead and up that 
could to a probably would have right. won that round, but they were just a little too slow. I mean, that and Viper University all got the away. Post, that's it's 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 deadly, man, especially when. Ooh, what a shot from Zerona on the siders. But as I was saying, you know, with with the Viper ult currently, it kind of uh, a couple patches ago got a buff once they decreased the size of the magazines for the guns. So players don't really like spraying Viper ults anymore. And if they had just managed to spray a little bit, they might have been able to catch the KO who was at low HP. But it just did not seem to be the play. Very possible that that could have been the case, and it's so hard to traverse with the Ooh. Viper's Pit. So no fault there. I believe Scribe popped their Viper's Pit on a save route. Oh, just unfortunately getting timing. Soup is just taking down Scribe as he was going to pick up the Vandal and probably looking towards a save. They are down. Simpsons College is down 1-7 right now. I, I could totally see another timeout coming in soon. I, I I can't quite pinpoint what the issue is here, other than I want to say just overall ones in general. It just seems that Clark University is catching these picks, and Simpson's kind of walking into it. To be fair, they are already at a disadvantage, as is with the hyper aggressive playstyle of Clark with them being on attack, and as well as the composition not in their favor right now. So, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say too. that it's just the attacking side, and maybe once the side switch, we might have a little bit of a fairer fight. Right. Spark University is kind of just hitting the ground and running away. Four versus four, and look at how controlling they're playing. Kai is playing a really nice angle on the flank, or on the lurk, excuse me. Scribe gets caught off the Bulldog versus the Vandal. Vold Vandal wins that about nine times out of 10. Oh, Throna can't land the shots with the Blade Storm, but say a fate and suit all the way over there. Lands those shots that Throna could not. And Blight almost gets run and gun. Wants to try for one more, but Kang will end that one off. 8-1. Simpson College just keeps on slipping further and further. Man, and that's Sova all. I, I, I want to say I know what he was going for, but it almost seemed like kind of a waste to use it that last round, especially with the disadvantage there. I mean, if, if he ended up catching two players, which I think he was trying to catch somebody hiding in Cubby, he may have been able to bring that round back. But with the player disadvantage, I don't think you really want to pop your ult there. The KO ult, there goes Null Command, and now here comes the Hunter's Fury. This seems a little bit overkill. I guess you can never be too sure, though. Five versus two, Zrona pops up. Bonsai able to catch them off guard. Good shots. The shot. the retake is looking impossible. What a shock dart. One enemy remaining. I'm surprised that shock dart didn't do more damage. Honestly. Clark University with another very efficient round. And Simpsons College is looking real, real demotivated. Clark is just playing uh, a main simulator. They just keep pushing through it and is taking it. You know, and that's, I, I, I really think that we're probably gonna be seeing something a little bit different once these teams switch sides. Uh, it, it's just right now, defending is just not, right it's not there. very fun and both players on Simpson, controller-wise, I, I just don't think have uh, maybe been utilizing their util in the best way. It, it just doesn't seem to go in their favor. And with the op missing that shot, that might be the final blow to Simpson's college moral. Another five versus three. These 1v1 picks just keep going the way of Clark. Finally, it takes Scribe with the Odin to land one frag. Harbor will be the first to fall. Feels like it's the first time in rounds and rounds that Simpsons College even got a kill, but it's not. Simpsons College have been consistently getting kills. No, 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 please, no. And he turns oh. around the Odin, he takes him down. You gotta respect it, you gotta respect it. <laughs> oh my goodness, leaving Ain in a one versus two. Scribe still has the Odin, it's gonna be a Difficult one to win if you are the KO. 
two shots. Almost whiff, but they get away with it. They got the time to work with. They can make this a closer fight. They might just have a shot at it. 30 seconds left. See, I think he knows exactly where he is. Oh, and it looks like both players are coming to the same point. Both their guns are ready. They round the corner, and Scribe takes him down, getting another round for Simpson College. If they can get just one more, I think they'll be Last set for next before half. The switch. 9 3 at the half. We have seen comebacks from more and less. Simpsons College can absolutely win this round out. They got the last one thanks to a little bit of BM from Zerona that backfired. That's why you treat your opponents with respect. This is Valorant Lessons with Tucker. Don't go for the knife. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm 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 kind of for it. It's you know? it's it's okay. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I would 100% throw around if I had the chance to Yeah, that, that's just the rules. Looks like Scribe is playing Overwatch right now. Absolutely overloaded with utility. And the spike is going to get planted with little to no resistance from Simpson College. Kong playing a very far back angle over in the angle, over in the window. Life's gonna try to push him, but I'm not the sure if The timing is out. perfect. It is. Khan gets pulled over to the other side. Last player the standing. attention is drawn the other way. Uh, KO and Harbor just able to connect on these shots. Insiders is the Switching last one sides. to fall. Clark University goes into the half with double digits. That's, that's gonna be a problem. Simpson they're gonna have to I mean if they don't win this pistol around here they're gonna end up having to force the next round and then they're not gonna have money going into the last so this pistol round is absolutely and completely crucial for them they're gonna have to make their impact come in and they're gonna have to make it come in hot really I think it's just been a matter of winning ones here uh, if, if you just look at the scoreboard simply already you I mean all, pretty much all the players yeah on Clark University are all positive they've been winning their fights and it's just it's just not the same for Simpson right now. Try and maybe it was shot, just okay? the half disadvantage with this being an attack sided map, but only time will tell is Simpson's going to be gearing up. And it looks like they're gonna do the same thing that Clark did with an A split three two. If Simpson's college wanna win this game, I feel like they're gonna have to get at least four rounds in a row. And with the ghost landing the one tap onto anomaly, it's not looking like that's going to be the way it's going to go. One versus Clark one, uh, one for one. Their jet just pushed through a smoke and ended up losing his life that way. They were up 5-4. And it was just a really unnecessary peak. But the light is also extremely lit. With a little bit more damage coming in from Fade here. As they're getting ready. And they know they're geared up for a B push. The shock darts are in. And it's going to slow down their push. They honestly might have to reconsider and just go back to A, which is exactly what it seems they are doing. Siders pushing up. Siders, the head is seen, and Soup lands the frag! Clark University has a two-man advantage now. The mid player Ooh. might get caught off. Bonsai able to survive. 30 seconds left. It's the headshot. And cuts the lead down to oh, one. To get this. Headshot. Spike down A. One versus three. Is all down to Bonsai with 20 seconds left on the clock. He has about half HP, but he's still got a bit of util. His wall is going to come in, and I think this harbor is going to left. just full on aggress this and peak this. The timing is not right for him, and Soup manages to get yet another frag. Winning the round for Clark University and gearing up for a potential force from Simpson. In my opinion, this is an absolute force from Simpson College. I don't think they can afford to eco and play for the tie. There's the a timeout's in. Timeout is 100% needed. I don't think there's any ands, ifs, or buts about it. For Simpson College, I don't think they can play for the tie. I think they have to go for the force and try to steal this round from the grips of Clark University. Playing for tie is okay whenever there's like four or five rounds left in the game. No, there's ten rounds that yeah. Simpson College would have to fight back at with no chance of winning in regulation. Just seeing that 12 on the scoreboard for your opponent 
does terrible things to the mentality. To look at that Absolutely. for 12 rounds or for 10 rounds, I don't think Simpsons College could do it. I don't think any team on the planet could do that. They have to force this. Absolutely. And I think it's going to be the play. It's just about how they go about it here. I mean, they, they called a timeout. They're discussing. And I wonder what they're going to end up doing. I mean, a mid it's going to be hard to have mid control with the short term or the short range weapons. And I mean, it's going to be hard to push either A or B, honestly. Oh, right this is really is not looking good. It seems like they're going to be no doing charges. a half force, half fight. save here with Blight and Jet taking on Stingers. Oh, and it looks like they're popping four Stingers. You got four Stingers on the board. At that point, you might as well just full force. It'll be a hard, yeah. be aggressive push. Kong forced back behind the wall. Soup, long range shot does land. The spike Viper planted. goes down. The spike is planted. And a winnable round for Simpsons College, but it is going to be quite difficult Scary. now. You got Drona on the flank, pushing up. The shot does not land with the Sheriff. Anomaly over half a team taken away by the shot. Taking two. Double with the Sheriff. Blight is left and Blight is no more. Clark on match point. It's just really unfortunate, honestly. I mean, I, there's not much you can do there with the short, uh, short range weapons. I mean, sure, you take the sight, you get it, you get the bomb down. But Soup knew the assignment immediately. He sat back and he waited and he just played retake, Match waited for point. his team and just ultimately just came in and just destroyed them. It's it's really disheartening because now right they really don't have a lot. They're playing with one Vandal on the board. They got a Marshal, Spectre, and a Judge. It's really not gearing right out there. well for Simpson here. They're right going to have there. to make some kind of miracle right play in order to get back into this. They will. It is the bonus round, so that helps them out a little bit. But the point about the bonus round is after losing the pistol and the anti-eco round, you have enough money to full buy up and get five vandals. This time, Simpson College does not have that. So it's essentially the bonus round without a bonus. This is just a round, and Clark University has a big advantage. Han swinging around the pillar. Can't land the shot. Anomaly going to get the plant down. Simpson College has a chance. It's a five versus four, but Clark University still has quite a bit of firepower. And if KO can make the Guardian pop, yeah. pop, pop everyone out, Clark University will make quick work of this round, and it looks like that's exactly Scott what they're two. doing. One There's KO remaining. with another frag. Fade, Bulldog in hand, parks it on out, and Soup wins the Harbor Battle. Drona will defuse, and Clark University will take this game 13-2. What an overwhelming. Win.